Welcome to HDTV. You're now rocking with your boy. Now, is um free agency is pending for the NBA. You have um Fred Van Fleet from the Raptors, um, who basically um decided to opt out of his twenty two point eight million player option for the two thousand twenty three to twenty four. Um, NBA season, and he'll become an unrestricted free agent this summer. Now, we, of course, have his coach going to Philadelphia, so there's been a lot of rumors saying that Philadelphia might sign him um, to a deal. So he's looking for a long-term deal. Now, the Los Angeles Lakers, people are saying, but the Lakers don't have any money. So they're just throwing that out there to keep their name hot. Um, the Raptors, of course, in recent weeks have possibly talked about a sign and trade where they would sign him to a deal he likes and then trade him to the Sixers. Um, that's what people have said. And he might. They're talking about he'll be a replacement for Harden, which I don't believe. I don't believe in my opinion, I don't believe Harden is going anywhere. I believe he's staying and everything. So, you know. Now, the Orlando Magic, Phoenix Suns, and the Rockets are other teams who could also pursue him. Um, um, Orlando, do I think he'll be good for us? I don't, I, don't, I don't want him. I think we need to get a – if we do get him – you know, I think he'll be a good veteran point guard for us, which then we can move on from either Fultz or um, Cole Anthony. The Rockets, he would do well there because Eme's there. Phoenix, he would be a great pickup for Phoenix. I just don't know if Phoenix can afford him because Phoenix is very cap-strapped. Um, now, Orlando and Houston can offer the max level salary to sign Van Fleet. So that could be a big thing. But um, do I believe he could um, do something? I think he'll be solid. I don't think he'll be a superstar, but he'll be a solid veteran for your team. He's not really a, a good or strong defender. He's okay. He's more of a facilitator and can score. So that's how I look at that with him. Now, um... Let's see. So we could, he could um be gone. Let's see. Okay, now. So let's see. Now, hold on, guys. Had something else here I wanted to talk about. Let's see. Now, Joe Burrow um, dodges a question on whether he's comfortable playing for the Cincinnati Bengals in 2023 without a new contract. So he's entering mandatory minicamp without a contract extension from the um, Cincinnati Bengals. That deal will come in time, but um, Burrow isn't willing to discuss the negotiations much. Um, he basically res um, he basically said um, he was asked if he was comfortable playing without a deal. He respectfully declined to give a detailed answer. Um, I think I've given you guys all the information that I'm comfortable with sharing about that process. Um, as far as the question goes about that, I'll probably save that for another time. He laughed when there was a brief pause and had reporters laughing when he asked if there was no questions anymore. 
Um, so basically, Burrow watched Hertz and Jackson receive, receive funny money deals. So most likely he'll get he'll get paid over them well handsomely. So, but I don't think he's gonna miss anything. I think Joe Burrow's the type of guy that's like, look, contract gonna get done, but I'm gonna show up to camp, so nobody has to worry about that. Now, let's see. We had um Let's see. Now, Bradley Bill. Um, the Wizards have decided to go a full rebuild, and um, Bradley Bill has um, um, basically said they're going to work together to find a trade that will send him to a contender um, if, the, uh, if the team elects to reset the organization. So if the team decides to rebuild, which I think they're going to do, they're going to try to trade him. Um, a source basically says that the Heat and the Bucks are expected to um, go for him. Um, the Wizards must work with Bill to complete a trade because the Five-year, $251 million maximum salary contract that the team and Bill finalized last July includes a no-trade clause, allowing Bill to block any trade. So the contract also includes a 15% trade bonus. So when that contract was signed, Shepard was the Wizards president and general manager, but the team principal owner, Ted Leonsis, Fired Shepard April 19th after the Wizards missed the playoffs for the fourth time in the last five seasons. Leonsis hired L.A. Clippers executive Michael Winger as the president of Monumental Basketball um, with oversight over the Wizards and the Washington Mystics. Um, Le Leonsis has given Winger full authority to remake the team. If that's the route Winger wants to take, last week Winger hired Oklahoma City Thunder executive Will Dawkins as the Wizards' new general manager. Now, I'm um, trading Bill would allow the Wizards a new executive to retool the team they inherited and potentially add some draft capital. Um, Bill, whom the Wizards drafted third in 2012 out of the University of Florida, has never advanced beyond the second round of his playoff of the playoffs in his 11-year pro career. Now, to me, Bradley Bill, it's going to be hard because he has a big contract. It's going to be hard for a contender to get him unless they have, unless they could trade one of those pieces. If the Bucks do get him, they're going to have to figure out whether they're going to get rid of Middleton or Holiday. I would get rid of Middleton. So you're going to have to see. Um, and that's a huge chunk to take on for your team. The low-level teams, of course, are the ones with the most cap space. You also have the Miami Heat. Do I think the Miami Heat go for it? I don't think so because I don't think Pat's going to give them that. Because I think they're already – I think they're already – I don't know if Jimmy's contract or whatever, but I know Jimmy contract, you know, you know I'm not sure. You know, I'm not real sure about that. If you could fit Bradley Bill's contract under the um under the cap. But we'll see. So let's see. Now, now Carl Anthony Towns came out and said that um, I feel like when my time is up and I retire and I put the shoes up, I feel like there's going to be people who are going to say that I changed the game. <sighs> And he said this on Pat Bev's podcast, and I'm going to be very appreciative of that. 
Now there now there is rumor that he might be um moved, which I would move him if I'm the Timberwolves. I would move him, get some collateral, get some pieces built. And I built around Anthony Edwards. Um, Carl Anthony Towns has showed he's not very healthy. He's not as strong. Um, he plays more like a guard than he does a big man. And I just think, you know, it's, it's time to move on. You already got rid of the other soft dude. So it's time to get rid of him too. But to change the game, nigga, you ain't changed shit. <laughs> only thing you change, nigga, only thing you change, nigga, is your chick after Jimmy took the first one, allegedly. But he ain't changed nothing. What he changed? What part of the game did he change? Um, He's not better than Embiid, and he hell show ain't better than Joker. Um, He's not better than Giannis. So what you changed? I think you and Anthony Davis are booty partners, allegedly. Allegedly, I think you guys make rendezvous to see each other. You know, I mean, I don't know. Because y'all both play soft as hell. And y'all both um love to shoot away, shoot them damn jumpers. So, that's all I got for you guys, man. Tell me what you guys think about it. What do you think Van Fleet is going? Do you think he's smart for declining the player option? And where do you feel he's going? Um, Joe Burrow, should Joe Burrow go to camp without a contract? I'm a, I mean, excuse me, a long-term contract. He is under contract with a long-term contract. And um, Bradley Bill, is Bradley Bill worth the collateral to, tra to trade for? Would you trade multiple players, multiple picks to try to get him on your team? And who do you think he's going to? Um, and Carl Anthony Towns, will he have changed the game? I say, hell no, but I want to hear what you guys say. So thank y'all for listening. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share this. Hit that notification bell to select all to receive upcoming notifications. If you guys do love what you hear, you can donate to the page by going to the description box, hitting that link um, that'll take you to my cash app where you can donate whatever your heart's desire. You guys can also go to my Zelle. My name is there where you guys can um, up put some money on that account. Um, if you guys want to super chat, you can when the video's live or premiere. And if you guys would love to, um, what was I going to say? Oh, excuse me. If you don't do none of that, you guys can leave a super thanks. So, um, thank you guys for your love and blessings. We are out. Deezy.